Former Arizona Governor Jan Brewer prevails in getting online ads that depict her in a very negative light off the internet. She threatened legal action this week over these ads that used unflattering images of her to sell beauty products and procedures. And one of the ads even claimed her husband divorced her for being too old, which is not true. Also encouraged users to click to see her revenge makeover. Well, tonight, two online marketing companies say they're taking down those ads and will not use them in the future. And joining us now, former Arizona Governor Jan Brewer. It's good to see you again. Nice to see you, Troy. It's great I, to be with you. I wish we were seeing you under better circumstances, but you've been through a lot in the last few months. I have. So tell us about uh, these Internet ads. What, when was the first you heard about them or saw them? Tell me about that. It was about uh, six months ago. I noticed it on there because somebody had mentioned to me that it was up there. And, of course, it's on all the pages that I read. And so I saw it one day, and so I looked at it. And, of course, I was humiliated and also hurt. And... Um, thought, well, eventually it would go away, and then they kept coming up, and then I clicked, and some, they would go to a plastic surgeon, or they'd go to products, and uh, I thought, well, they'll give it up, but it just got out of control, I mean, absolutely out of control, and um, people were talking about it everywhere that I went, uh, right. they wanted to talk about my husband divorcing me, whom I've been married to almost 50 years. Because one of the ads, explain that, because one of the ads said something about that, right? What did the ads right. say? Right, they said that my husband divorced me because of, the, of my old age and my looks, and uh, then I had a revenge makeover, and uh, of course, um, those things are hurtful, they're just absolutely hurtful, and they didn't have permission. Uh, to use my image. Um, they lied, they were mean, and they were hateful. And um, it uh, was all done for profit for them. Mm. And of course, it's coined, um, uh, what is it, uh, clicks. Um, oh, yeah, a uh, clickbait. Uh, yeah, clickbait. Right. And so obviously, it was getting lots of hits because it stayed up there for so long. It and it was on, you know, four different uh, pictures. And, um, so I, I, you know, it's not tolerable, and they were making a profit off of my image, and uh, that's wrong, and it's illegal. Can we talk about something that's more fun? What? Uh, just in a very general sense. You say you're enjoying what's going on politically right now. Yes, I am. I have been through a lot of uh, presidential elections, and I think it's been the most exciting ever, and that we've got people on both sides of the aisle out there, and they're out there talking to the people, and there's a lot of scraping and scrapping going on, and I think that it's ignited uh, America, the United States, and that more people are paying attention, and they definitely want straight shooters and straight talkers and truth tellers, and I love it. I love it. I just think it's exciting. I can't get enough of it. I thought maybe it would all fit out, but it hasn't. Right. It just continued to go. I can't wait to watch the uh, presidential uh, primary at the Reagan Library on the 16th of September. Th does it, it seems like it's almost the year of the anti-politician in a way where you've got, you know, at least on the, uh, the GOP side, you've got three of the top people who have never held office before. Does that surprise you? Uh, yeah, it does surprise me because you would think that the seasoned politicians, which I believe being a politician is an honorable profession, but uh, I know from experience people like truth tellers. They like straight talkers because I think that's what people have told and saw me as, as a, as a straight talker, a truth teller. And I think that we're seeing a lot of that and now it's driving everybody else to be a little bit more straightforward and, and, and talking. And talk in the language that people understand. Governor Brewer, really nice seeing you again. Nice seeing you. And good luck with this issue going forward. Thank you so much. All right, so that was taped earlier, and you can watch my entire interview with Jan Brewer, including some uh, behind-the-scenes stuff uh, before and after the interview. It's all uh, up there, unedited, on my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Troy Hayden Fox 10 if you're interested. Still ahead.